Did you know that almost 70% of online returns happen because clothes don't fit the way they looked on the website? A new app from Google Labs called Doppel aims to reduce that problem by showing how outfits look on a real body. What exactly is Doppel? Doppel is an experimental mobile app released by Google Labs in June 2025. The whole idea behind the app is very straightforward. Help people see how outfits would look on their own body before buying anything. Instead of showing a still image, Doppel creates animated videos. These videos show clothing moving and hanging on the user's body, basically a virtual try-on experience without needing to step into a store. This makes the app very different from the usual online shopping features that only place clothing on a static picture. Doppel tries to make the experience feel more natural and closer to real life. The process inside Doppel is simple. A high-quality full-body photo is uploaded first. Then, an outfit is selected from any source, Pinterest, Instagram, online stores, or personal photos. Doppel's AI then creates a video where the user appears to be actually wearing that outfit. It even shows basic fabric movement, folds, and how clothes fall on the body. A quick question here. What's the biggest issue faced during online shopping? Wrong color, wrong size, or wrong fit? Most people say fit, which is exactly why Doppel became an interesting experiment from Google. The app depends a lot on photo quality, so clear pictures make a huge difference. Good input gives clean results, while bad input usually ends in distorted or funny outputs. Doppel asks for a full body picture with bright lighting, form-fitting clothes, and no objects blocking the body. A simple background also helps the AI read body shape better. Outfit photos should show only one outfit, with no wrinkles or accessories covering the details. These rules may feel strict, but this is the only way the AI can create proper virtual try-on videos. What clothing can Doppel try on? Doppel currently supports only tops, bottoms, and dresses, keeping the system simple for now. Items like shoes, accessories, swimwear, lingerie, and some traditional outfits are not supported yet. If a user uploads an incomplete outfit, like only a shirt, the app auto-generates matching items such as pants or shoes. This matching is based on what the AI feels suits the look. If an outfit is unsupported, the app may replace it with a default black t-shirt and pants. These limitations may change later as Google expands the app's abilities. How accurate is Doppel? Accuracy is still a challenge because Doppel is in its experimental stage. Sometimes the AI may slim or stretch the body, change facial features, or animate clothing incorrectly. Colors and textures may also appear different from the real outfit. Distortions can happen around arms, legs, or areas hidden in the original photo. The AI even guesses missing details, like legs when switching from pants to a dress. These issues show that Doppel is improving, but perfect accuracy will take more time. In December 2025, Google added the shoppable discovery feed, turning Doppel into a mini shopping platform. The feed shows AI-generated videos of real fashion items with direct purchase links. It also suggests outfits based on the user's style and browsing habits. The more someone interacts, the better Doppel understands their fashion preference. It feels similar to scrolling TikTok or Instagram Reels, but with fully AI-built outfit content. This shifted Doppel from just a try-on tool to a fashion discovery experience. Each user has a monthly generation limit, which controls how many try-on videos can be created. Google hasn't shared exact numbers, but limits reset automatically every month. During high traffic times, requests may be restricted to keep the app running smoothly. Some users might find this frustrating, but these limits prevent server overload. It also helps Google manage processing power for millions of generated videos. These rules may change later as Doppel becomes more stable. Doppel uses computer vision to read the body shape, posture, and clothing edges in the uploaded photo. It also uses diffusion-based garment warping, which shapes and animates the outfit to match the body. The final output becomes a blend of the real body, the selected outfit, and smooth AI-generated motion. Every video includes an invisible Synth ID watermark, making it easy to identify AI-generated content. This watermark is hidden, but protects against misuse. These technologies make Doppel's animations look more natural than normal try-on tools. Since Doppel uses full-body photos, privacy becomes very important. 
Google stores uploaded photos and generated videos unless the user manually deletes them. Deleted items may still stay on servers for up to 30 days for processing. Before any human reviewer checks an image, personal account details are removed. Users can adjust data settings, disable improvement options, or export their data anytime. Reviewed and annotated data stays with Google for research, even after deletion. Checking the privacy settings first is helpful for anyone concerned about data use. Right now, Doppel is available only in the United States on both iOS and Android. Users must be at least 18 years old and logged into a Google account to use it. There are hints about future global expansion, but nothing confirmed yet. Google may also introduce paid plans or premium features in the future. The app is still experimental, so features may change quickly. Availability may expand as Google improves stability and demand grows. Doppel changes the online shopping experience by showing outfits on a real body, not a model. This helps users make better buying decisions and reduces size confusion. More accurate try-ons could also reduce product returns, which cost brands a lot of money. Users can try outfits from any website or social platform, making clothing discovery more fun. Virtual looks shared online give brands free promotion. If Doppel gathers enough data, it could improve sizing charts and recommendation systems in the future. Brands that want to appear inside Doppel's discovery feed must prepare clear, bright outfit photos. Full-length pictures with no wrinkles or folds help the AI read the clothes correctly. Using detailed metadata and proper tags makes fashion items easier for Doppel to understand. Clearly structured product information about color, fit, and fabric increases visibility. Clean backgrounds and forward-facing outfits also improve recognition. Following these steps helps brands appear naturally in AI-generated suggestions. Google is working on features like better body modeling and more accurate clothing measurements. More natural fabric movement and support for extra clothing categories are also expected. Users may get more pose options in generated videos soon. Seamless integration with online stores might create a smoother shopping experience. Paid plans or premium usage tiers may also arrive later. Some users hope for virtual closets or daily outfit suggestions, which Google may explore. Google Shopping Try-On shows static images and works only with selected retailers. Doppel, on the other hand, creates animated videos and accepts outfits from anywhere online. Doppel offers more advanced modeling for fabric, movement, and body shape. It also allows deeper styling experimentation because it is part of Google Labs. Shopping Try-On is simpler, while Doppel is more creative and flexible. This makes Doppel the more powerful tool for fashion exploration. Doppel is one of Google's most interesting fashion experiments, created to help users see how clothes look on a real body. Although not perfect, it improves fast with updates and new features. The shoppable feed, AI outfit suggestions, and advanced garment modeling make online shopping easier. Doppel could significantly change how people explore clothing online. The real question is whether this type of virtual try-on will become normal in the future. For now, Doppel is pushing fashion technology toward that direction. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.